Hey everybody, I'm Chris Wook. Unless you've been traveling the depths of space, you've probably heard that Apple acquired Beats. Now everyone's wondering what's going to come of that, but if you're looking for a clue in these headphones, you're not going to find it. These were clearly in the works long before that happened. That said, the Beats Solo 2 are the sequel to a very popular pair of headphones. So the question is simple, are they good? Say what you will about Beats, but you can't say they don't have style, even right down to the packaging. Slide off the outer cover of the box and it opens shoebox style. The first thing you'll see is the soft carrying case with the headphones themselves already inside. Everything else is underneath. The 3.5mm audio cable, carabiner, and a packet containing the manual, warranty info, and a sticker. Let's check out the headphones a little closer, shall we? The Beats Solo 2 are available in quite a few colors, but as you can see, we're looking at them in blue. The finish is very shiny, though it didn't seem to attract nearly as many fingerprints as I initially thought it would. Still, if you want these to look their best, you'll want to keep them clean. The inside of the headband has a very nice feel, almost like leather, though it's clearly plastic. Putting them on for the first time, these headphones were fairly comfortable, though the fit was snug. If you're thinking about picking these up, you might want to see if you can try a pair on first. Though they don't feel brittle, the Beats Solo 2 are far from the most flexible feeling headphones we've tried. The included soft case is nice enough, but at this price, we really would have liked to see a hard shell case to keep the headphones protected. If you're looking for Bluetooth, you're going to need to look elsewhere in the Beats line because the only connectivity you'll find in this pair of headphones is the 3.5mm audio cable with built-in mic and remote. Luckily, Unlike a few other brands out there, the cable uses standard jacks on both ends instead of any proprietary connections, so if the cable dies on you, you can easily replace it with another cable. The built-in remote is three buttons, though how much it actually does depends on the device you're using. Only the middle button works on Android devices, working the same as a one-button clicker style remote. If you use an iOS device, all the buttons will work as expected. Call quality was fine with the built-in mic, though these probably aren't a pair of headphones you'll want to wear for making calls around the office. In testing the Beats Solo 2, I mainly played lossless audio files and CDs through a high-quality audio interface, though I did also plug them into my Moto X and listen to a few songs streaming via audio. I listened to a ton of different music, podcasts, and audiobooks in testing. For a short playlist of a few of the songs I listened to, check the video description. One of the main things Beats headphones are known for is boomy, overpowering bass, but that isn't the case here, and that's a good thing. While bass is certainly strong and well represented, it doesn't overpower the mids. Bass also seems to be focused lower on the frequency scale, which avoids unpleasant boominess. The mids are a little scooped, but not nearly as much as I was expecting. Overall, the mid range is open and balanced sounding, though depending on the song, I did notice the occasional touch of harshness in the upper mids. The highs sound slightly rolled off, though not to the point of sounding muffled. Soundstage is decent, nothing felt closed in, though I was never surprised by the sound either. Sound leakage is almost non-existent here. The headphones also do a good job of keeping out outside sounds, so you don't have to worry about annoying your neighbors or them annoying you. Overall, these are among the best sounding Beats headphones we've seen. There's no doubt about it, this is a solid good sounding pair of headphones, but these days, solid good sounding pairs of headphones are a dime a dozen, and these cost a little more than a dime. Now, if you're looking for a pair of Beats headphones, you know what you want, and this is a good pair of Beats headphones. That said, at 200 bucks, we'd at least have liked to see a hard shell case. We're giving the Beats Solo 2 an eight out of 10. And that's it for this review, everybody. For more information, check the full written review over at soundguys.com. We'll have a link to the article as well as a link to our forums in case you have any questions down in the video description. Like the video, let us know, and why not subscribe? There's the button. I'm Chris Wook, and thanks for watching.